one of my favorite things to see at the farm show and actually any show like this is some unique smaller products some products that solve real world problems but are things really that you don't really think about uh, on a daily basis so we're here with nick from lock jaws and i think this is one of the coolest products i've ever seen nick tell us about it so uh, the lock jaw is a uh, insulator for t post it goes on in 360 degrees uh, any way around the post so it doesn't necessarily matter which way the post goes in the ground or how you need it works for corners works for front side back side uh, 180 degree terminations you name it this is the insulator for you let me show you how it works real fast yeah so you've got these spring-loaded wings on the inside of the insulator so between any two points of the t-post if you line that wing up you can click it right into place now you can pull on that as hard as you want it won't come off but if you need to remove it you put your thumb on the back side and snap it off now it'll go on in all three of those directions we also have this slot in the back as well as these teeth so if you need to get over a spine like this corner installation for example you can simply put the insulator over that and snap it in place as well now it'll go over this spine as well as this spine and they come off just as easy so you can reuse them very simple solution thank you i can tell it'll work with this uh, stranded nylon rope yes we like to say it works with anything a quarter inch or under so it works with the poly rope the poly wire which you see below and any kind of uh, the metal wire smooth high tensile dual strand barbed wire the trick on putting the wire into the insulator is very simple as well if you hold the insulator at a 45 degree angle you can slide it over the tooth and then snap it into place now that the wire is captive, you can then put it on the T-post. Some of the insulators with the two teeth that come up and down, you have to feed the wire vertically through, and that's a problem if you're running high tensile or a very stiff wire, and then you can't get it on the T-post. So in our case, you feed the wire first, and then it becomes easy to put it on the T-post, no matter which direction it needs to go. Now, I understood from you that there are several sizes of these T-posts. They don't they're not all consistent. There are, and, and actually the consistency is getting worse as we go. And so um, there's one three three pound T post. There's one twenty five pound T post. Uh, there's also some economy T posts that are actually running smaller than the standard one twenty fives. And so our insulator has the ability, because of the spring loading action of it, to fit all three sizes of T post in all three directions. Not only that, but the older T posts that that were out there like fifty hundred years ago. Uh, they have a long back spine, but these insulators still fit in three out of the six directions. So even if you have those old T-posts, this is still the insulator for you. Wow. I mean, this seems like a brilliant idea. Why didn't we think of this sooner? And that brings the question, sure. how did you think about it? Sure. So I actually live in a neighborhood. I'm an engineer. Uh, I have a really good friend who's a farmer, lives behind my house. Uh, he and I were out doing some fencing projects for him, and I said, man, these insulators they're no good, they stink, right? And so I think we can do this better. So sat down with him, went through 20 years of his frustration in T-post insulators, and we come up with this. Now this is 52 iterations later. 52? 52 iterations later. I've got a 3D printer, so we kept making changes, making changes, and this is what we come to. So we're still playing with this, but uh, we wanna be the best insulator on the market, and uh, this one is, is close. That's a great story. All American made, American designed, American ingenuity. That's right. We uh, actually manufacture these in southern Indiana and every single one of them is stamped made in the USA right on the back. That's amazing. So where do I get them and how much are they? So you can go to www.lockjaws.com. Uh, that's our main website. You can get them from us. Uh, we also do bulk shipments. So if you need a big fencing project, you can get that down to a 25 pack. Um, you can also visit our website and there's a where to buy section where you can find a local retailer and we're adding local retailers seems like on a weekly basis at this point. Brilliant idea. This is going to make our sweet corn fencing about half the time, Christy, maybe even less. No more coons in our sweet corn. This looks a little different o over here, Nick, the way it's wired together. It absolutely is. And so you can see the outside corner, but as we move towards the center of the fence, we actually pull to the inside, right? Now, normally you'd have your fence running on the inside for your animals, but on fence lines where you have a, a large deer problem where they keep tearing the fence down, if you weave the wire in and out of the insulators, because we can go on the front, because we can go on the back, when the deer try to come through the fence, they might 
take this insulator, but they won't take this one because you're pushing against the T-post. So this is going to lessen the amount of damage that a deer will inevitably do to your fencing project. So there's just more strength when you're pushing against the post, I suppose. That's, that's exactly what. right. And we recommend this for turns. So if you're making a, a long sweeping turn, just pull the wire on the other side of the T-post and make sure that it's always pushing against the post. That's what's going to give you the most strength in your fencings. Brilliant. Nick, one question I have for you is, are these things going to like fall apart after a year or so? Absolutely not. So we manufacture them out of an HDPE plastic with a UV inhibitor. Uh, they're going to stay flexible down to negative 40 degrees. Uh, I like to tell people they're made out of the same material as like an ATV skin. So if your ATV skins break down, that's when these will break down. And they're easy to replace if they did break and down. Easy to replace if they did break down. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Nick. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.